All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today, we're gonna to be talking about my favorite concealed carry and everyday carry uh, flannels. And that is from LA Police Gear. I'm currently wearing one of the core flannels. They're brand new flannels from them. Uh, but I have out here on the review table just a pile of different flannels from them. We're gonna go through them, talk about some of the pros and maybe a couple of small cons as well. But subjectively, I believe that these are the best flannels on the market for everyday and concealed carry. So before we get into the flannels, a uh, couple things. Number one, LA Police Gear, I am an affiliate of them. Uh, I do make a small commission off of sales that if you use the links I provide. Um, however, I have purchased everything with the exception of two sets of body armor. I am in complete LAPG right now. Uh, oh, I just realized you can't tell, but I have reviewed these core or these uh, LAPG Terrain Flex uh, jeans before. I am wearing LAPG boots right now, have been wearing them uh, regularly for last six or seven months. They've held up great, and uh, LAPG flannel. So uh, I have purchased all of these. I've purchased all the other LAPG clothing I've ever owned and or uh, products that they offer, with the exception of two pieces of body armor. So uh, while I am an affiliate, while I can potentially make a small amount of money off of links that I provide for you. This in no way uh, affects my review for this stuff. Now, so let's start with everyday carry. Uh, I think one of the things that everybody overlooks, or many people overlook with everyday carry, is the things like shirts and jeans. Uh, belts are talked about quite often, of course. Things like flashlights, things like knives, things like pens. Uh, pens aren't talked about very often, but a good quality pen um, is, I think, something that needs to be in everybody's everyday carry. As well as things like medical, if that's something that you decide to carry. I carry it in my truck, not on my person. Uh, although I do have medical like in my toolbox at work and all my range bags. Uh, everywhere I go, I'm surrounded by medical gear. So that's not something I particularly need on my body. One of the secrets that people don't talk about when it comes to concealed carry and the ability to conceal well is shirts. Um, Oftentimes I see people running around the internet complaining about printing and then they have their like Smedium T grunt style t-shirt on that shows every ripple in their body and wonders why they're printing. Um, Conceal carry is not a fashion show. Uh, and while you can get away with certain amounts of leniency with clothing, uh, holsters, belts all play a part into it, but you really do need to dress for concealed carry as well. Oftentimes I see people buying holster after holster after holster, belt after belt after belt, and complaining that they're not concealing how they wish they could, when the simple answer is just buy a bigger size shirt or put on a flannel or, or a button up shirt or something like that. Put on something that aids the concealment. In my opinion, there's a certain amount of needing to work around the concealment uh, in order to successfully conceal and not print and do these things that people are so concerned about. And that is where the LAPG flannels come in. Not just for price, not just for mostly quality, uh, but for selection as well. And I think that they have something, the LAPG flannels have something that a not, not a lot of other flannels have that I think is, is to me, uh, very obvious that concealed carry flannel should have, and that's all of their flannels are snap, snap up flannels. Now I wear like compression undershirts. I don't wear regular t-shirts under my flannels. Um, these very smooth compression undershirts allow the shirt to move on me very well, allow for drawing and uh, not bunching up a t-shirt in that draw as well. 
things like that. But even if you are hip carrying the ability to just throw your shirt open if need be to grab your pistol, uh, I think is an invaluable addition to the shirts and I don't know why other companies don't do it. So that's enough about that. Let's get down the review table. I'm gonna show you a few of the shirts, a few of the differences in the shirts and I think that these are just really good shirts all the way around. So as you can see here, I have a table full of shirts um, and I have them sort of laid out a certain way. I had this one on earlier, so the sleeves were rolled up. Let's get that undone. Uh, this is a core flannel. This is the lightweight backup flannels. These are the Atlas flannels and these are the midweight and almost, if they had a liner, they'd be a heavyweight but uh, a bit thicker uh, mid-weight flannels. Uh, they all have the button enclosure for the front. Some of you guys may recognize some of these shirts. I've worn this one. This is one of the first ones I bought. Um, this dark gray Atlas flannel is one of my favorites. So let's just start with the Atlas flannel. So starting with the Atlas flannel, it's pretty lightweight flannel. Um, it's, I think the material weight is right around the five and a half uh, ounce flannel. I think ounce is the correct term. Um, this, the Atlas flannels are the ones that have probably the most features to them. Uh, not only are they, again, all snap enclosure, uh, the front chest pockets are snap enclosure. The left front chest pocket actually has a hidden Velcro pocket here. That is full depth, a hidden Velcro pocket there, and a hidden zipper pocket on this side, on the right chest, that goes sideways. Both of those are very handy, especially when it comes to traveling. Um, put money, passports, IDs, things like that, important stuff in there that you don't want pickpocketed. As you can see, I used this one so much, I've actually wore a hole in it where my grip presses up against stuff. So this has been one of my favorite flannels of all time. It's got nothing special on the sleeves. All the sleeves for all the flannels also have snaps and you can roll them up real nicely. This is a nice uh, dark gray, black, and blue pinstripe design. Other side, nothing special on the sleeves, uh, but all of the all of the features with this shirt are in those chest pockets. To the core flannel, this is brand new to them. Uh, somebody. Gotta love the sound of freedom. Um, core flannel, again, snap up. I think that's a, a just a fantastic design. This is their most plain flannel. And of course it's uh, very inexpensive uh, to boot, but uh, just has open top pockets, open top chest pockets here and here with nothing special on the sleeves or you know sunglass, uh, sunglass hooks or anything like that. Sleeves again are snap up, easy to roll up. Uh, this, again, this is right around the five and a half ounce um, uh, weight. These are 100% pre-shrunk cotton. I forgot to mention that these are like, the I, I'm gonna put it up on the screen, I can't remember. But these are blended, the, the Atlas are a blended material. The lightweight, the lightweight backup flannel, this is the blue one. I really like this flannel. Like I said, it was one of the first ones I bought. Um, again, snap pockets, pen holder, snap pocket, pen holder. It also has pen or sunglass holder in the shoulder here, right there, two of them. Snap up sleeves, snap up front. This is a little heavier, it feels a little heavier weight, but that could just be my imagination because they say that the weight of this and the weight of the rest of these are really close to the same. But to me, these feel just a fuzz thicker, uh, a little heavier. But outside of that, here's the other sleeve. There's nothing on the left sleeve as far as the shoulder goes. Now to these heavier weight, they call these the mid-weight flannels. Um, 
they're almost they're almost heavy you don't see me in them too often because they are heavy enough that in I can wear all those other flannels I can wear all those other flannels in the middle of summer here even when it's 115 degrees and I'm fine these are a bit thick for that temperature so you haven't seen me in these very often but much like the lightweight backup flannel um, button down pocket pen button down pocket pen or snap down pocket snap up front and closure snap up sleeves and has let me find it the sunglass or pen pockets these are also 100 percent cotton pre-shrunk cotton now it isn't just the bagginess of an untucked flannel that helps with concealment uh, they do they do offer solid colors with all of their, I believe every flannel design from the Atlas to the core lightweight backup and midweight flannels, I do believe they offer uh, a solid color for every variation. But uh, when it comes to the color, this pattern, the, the, the flannel pattern, they all have a little bit different patterns, but the flannel pattern also helps break up any silhouettes or any lines that your gun may be causing on your body. Now the only con I have to say about them is that all three of these shirts are the same price. They were bought relatively in the same period of time. Uh, this one I wear a lot. You guys have seen me in this a lot. Um, I like the dark color, I like the gray, I like how it fits. This thing has been washed probably a hundred times. Uh, these two shrunk considerably. Not that I can't wear them, but they shrunk considerably more than this one did. I don't know if it's because of the dye in it. I don't know why. I don't know if I, it was just a fluke. But this black and white one and this red and white one shrunk considerably. This one didn't really seem to shrink any. Um, and so that's why you don't see me in these very often. And lastly, we'll get to price. Uh, in, a, in, a, in a world where we see flannels becoming more popular with concealment, uh, we also see the price going up, even pre-pandemic pricing. Uh, you're, you're looking at 60, 80, 90, even 100 and 100 plus for a flannel. And uh, I think that's ridiculous. These things have held up for in some in some of the cases for well over a year, and they're they range from the forty dollars and under, thirty five or something like that, and under price range. I think these core right now they're on sale for twenty bucks or something like that, nineteen dollars. Don't quote me on those prices, but they're all forty and under which I think is a reasonably good price for what I consider to be high quality flannels that do the job that they need to do, plus the added feature of a snap front as opposed to buttons that can oftentimes get caught up during your, you know, during your draw and things like that. Whereas these, if you happen to catch just the tail and you come up, you're going to you know, un unbutton the shirt and still be able to get your gun versus getting caught up on a uh, button that doesn't want to rip apart. So that's it, that's my review. I know that I didn't get really detailed with each shirt, but there's just so much there. I didn't want it to last too long. Uh, that's my review on the LAPG flannels. I love them. I've suggested them for probably a couple of years now in various videos. I'll put a link to the page that you can find all of these flannels down below. I'll put a, a, a link to that page. It will be an affiliate link. So if you decide to buy through that link uh, or even come back later and buy through that link, I will get a small percentage. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. If you have any of these shirts, let me know your experience with them or any other LAPG clothing. I have uh, reviewed the jeans, the BFE stretch pants, the light. I've have reviewed a number of things from LA Police Gear. They've all been either pretty good to really good pieces of gear. Uh, the boot review is coming later down the road, so look forward for that. To my patrons out there, you guys are awesome. Patreon is one of the easiest ways to support this channel. Uh, there are three, five, and $10 tiers. With each tier, you get different things, including extra 
including extra entries into any giveaways I may have, as well as Patreon-only content. Thanks for watching, everybody. Again, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Help me beat that YouTube algorithm that is trying to currently kill this channel. And we'll talk to you later.